Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to, to episode 4 of season 2 of The Promised Neverland, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. BTW, sorry this is late. Your girl went out with her mom, came home late, and ish. Take my shoes off, oh my god. Oh, that feels so much better. I wonder if, um, no, I don't think they'll show Phil. I, I want to see baby boy Phil, but maybe, uh, Isabel? It would be nice, because, like, honestly, as much as I love seeing Emma and the kids, I, I still want to know what's all happening back where they used to live, and I don't know. It would be nice to see how they're doing. I mean, I think, you know, that freaking place would be under top surveillance since all these damn kids escaped, but who knows. So you're an alias. It's fucked up. No. Yeah, you're on your own. So where is future? It's far.
Damn. Hey, but it's a kill to be killed world. I hope it hasn't been a freaking month. Jesus Christ, for months. Maybe like a couple of weeks, but... <laughs> well, birds are meat. <laughs> you sure about that? Mm, okay. Mm, I'm trying to, babe. Ah, uh, we not Timon and Pumba, bro. Okay. I mean, it looks like a fish, though. I don't know about that. Mm. <laughs> the one time I wish these kids had a knife and they could have just stabbed them. Y'all got seasoning? <laughs> so you gotta eat the fish. Do what you gotta do. Uh. Good.
It's okay if you want to throw up. Yeah. God. God damn, it's been a fucking month. That is her. Oh. I don't like the way she said that, though. Mm -hmm. yeah, so probably about another month. Maybe a couple more weeks. How the fuck did they find out that they were there, though? Oh, God! Mm -hmm. You have to. There's nothing else you can do. Mm. You're missing somebody. Shit. Gonna kill her, are you? Oh. 
No. No, this is fucked up. I wanted to see her child. What is he playing again? This some bullshit. Damn it. Get the gun! Get the gun! Did nobody get the gun? Shit. Go, 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 go! There's always one! Oh, damn. They're not really, you're not gonna care. Come on. Oh my god. Get right. <sighs> Fuck.
Okay. It makes sense for her to, you know, because <laughs> it's her freedom against theirs, you know. You're going to do anything that you can, that you're willing to do to get your freedom back. I don't know, but at the same time, I feel like she has her own plans ever since, because I haven't rewatched the show in two, three years, season for season one. Like I said, I rewatched episode one like a couple of months ago, just to rewatch it and stuff, and I was going to have my mom get into it with me as well. But from what I remember in the last episode and how she just let all the kids go and then when Emma came I thought she was gonna grab Emma and be like no 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 you gonna stay here but she let her go so still something makes me a little highly like suspicious like she's gonna two time the demons in the end because she also possibly has her own plans that she hasn't said yet but maybe she'll say it um later on maybe who knows I, I mean dude this gonna be probably the most craziest game of tag ever. And you know them kids are not gonna be willing to go home with her. Cody, what are you doing? I don't know. I mean... <sighs> Fuck it. If, I, if it was me, I just would've took the death. Fuck it. <laughs> Shit, like, uh... I really thought they would have killed her straight up but it would have been a, if they did it would have been really messed up to me because of the fact is she is Ray's mom and I, I want to see them together again even if it's like this and then especially if it's in a horrible way I want them back together I want her to be around Emma again Hell, I want all these kids around her again because she still cares for all these kids even though what she was doing is wrong but she only did her job because if she didn't do it, she possibly would have got killed. Okay, let's talk about freaking grandma and her BS. What the? Okay, so grandma is like the higher up. She's like the the CEO of the... No, the demons would be the CEO of this situation. And then the grandma would be like... No, you know what? No, let me do it like this. Okay, so the demons are like the superintendent of this school. Grandma is essentially the principal, and then um, Isabel, Sister Carone, who I still kind of believe. Sister Carone dead, ain't she? Because, yeah, I might have to rewatch season one. Um, any of the other sisters are the, the staff, the teachers, the uh, police officers or security guards for high schools, um, the custodians. Um, music teachers, whatever. I cannot believe I'm comparing it to, like, school. But in a way, from that hierarchy, it seems like it is like that. And because she's let these kids go, of course, you know, she's fucked up. She she literally fucked up. And you would think that, yes, yeah, she was immediately going to die by the end of this episode. But they was like, nah, you know, if you do this, you get to be free. And, you know, you get to sing back, thank God. But, yeah, I, I mean... If we, let, okay, so this is episode, this is episode four. So let's say by episode, I'll say eight. Let's say by episode eight, the kids see her again for the first time since the end of season one. You know damn well them kids ain't gonna go back. <laughs> As I said, they, they can't, I, you can't trust anybody. You can't trust humans and you can't trust demons. I mean, boy, but like I said, y'all should have grabbed the gun. I mean, you knocked, uh, technically, no, not really knocked him out, but you moved or pushed him off the cliff. Somebody out of that group could have grabbed the damn gun and then whatever, like, bullets or whatever he had out and, and so on and so forth. Then they could have straight up killed the four people um, who had the kids. But no, the thing came in and killed it, of course. But still, I'm just saying, because, like, okay... As much as I love these kids going out here and, you know, being like a Tomb Raider and this, y'all need a gun. I'm just saying, like, please. I, I mean, bows, bows and arrows can do a lot, especially when you are upgrading them. But, because, I mean, eventually if you have a gun, you, the biggest thing that you have to worry about is bullets. Once the bullets are gone, it's no longer in use. And so, 
if one of these people who were hunting them only had a certain amount of rounds, that's it. They have to go back to using the bow and arrow, hell, if they had a spear, anything. But, well, now the only thing is, what is that future? And hopefully there are good people there. I'm praying. I'm glad that we found out there was someone who was under the alias of William, but I don't think he is the only one, as I said a couple of weeks ago. There has to be more, but maybe we'll see them once they get to future. So, yeah, it's a good episode. Loved it for what it was. Just, oof. <laughs> My God, I'm just scared about what she is going to the things that she's going to do to try to get these kids back. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of season two of The Promised Neverland. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. <clears throat> Join the Macho Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode five. Bye, guys.